Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Perky and today I'm going to show you guys how to do Blacklight Retribution cinematics. I know a lot of you don't make your own montages and that's perfectly fine, but there are some of you out there who are interested in knowing, so I'm going to go ahead and just shoot you a quick, head, quick heads up on how to do that. Um, the first thing you're going to need is an Xbox 360 wired controller. I believe you... I think you can use a wireless one. I think there are little adapters that allow you to connect to an, a USB port, but... Either way, you need to be able to connect to a USB port in your computer. And um, then after that, you're going to need the program called Xpatter. Uh, Xpatter basically binds um, the buttons and the joysticks on your uh, on your Xbox controller to your PC command. So it binds the right joystick on the Xbox controller to the mouse movements and the left one to WASD movements and you know so forth um, we're using fraps to record if that matters at all for any of you but um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into a match here uh, they just recently well I, I don't know if it's really that recently but uh, they added the ability to spectate so you can go down here to watch and uh, that way you can do free movement uh, or you can follow players now, it really depends how you want to do this. Uh, you could go into an empty server and you need two people to start the match. So, you could go in there with two friends and uh, kind of have them move to where you need to if you plan on uh, actually filming the soldiers. Uh, or you could just go into a public one, have your friend join. So, let's. Um, there's also no level restrictions, so this part doesn't matter here. But, say we needed some footage on Vortex. So, we'll just jump in, hit watch. Objective. Secure and update network mesh nodes. Alright, here we go. Now, this whole spectating thing means I don't take up space on the team, which means I can move wherever I want. I actually am adding this part of the video after making the previous commentary because I forgot to do it, but you guys are going to want to go to settings here. You're going to want to go to game and you're going to want to change hide HUD to enabled because otherwise people's names are going to be popping up uh, the kill feed is going to be popping up and the scoreboard in the bottom of the screen is going to be popping up and that'll just be frustrating alright sorry that was really annoying I'm not going to do that ever again uh, let's see there's something else that I turned down oh yeah um, control mouse sensitivity this kind of helps uh, slow down your movements a little bit which can be useful and uh, kind of help to smooth things out. So, I would advise turning that down, and you definitely want to 100% of the time for sure have HUD off, because otherwise it's just going to look kind of silly. Alright guys, sorry about adding this after the fact, but thanks for watching, and I'm going to continue with the rest of the commentary. Alright, so you can switch between different preset views like this, um, follow soldiers like this, or you can do free camera. So we're going to do free camera, Oop, that's not at all where I want to go, okay, let's head on up these stairs, but uh, yeah, from here you can, I guess, just go, like, find something that you think looks good, I don't know, I, whatever you want, let's, let's go ahead and do this bad boy, now, I could, I could just kind of do something like this, this is easily done just by holding the joysticks, obviously. You know, and obviously you're going to want to find a place that actually makes it look good. That that sucked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the joysticks make it way easier to keep it smooth. And, yeah, you can actually make a lot of really nice and smooth-looking things out here. So just, if you're ever looking for something to put into your montages or, or whatever, this can really help you. If you have, uh a controller, otherwise it might just not be worth it. Uh, if I get enough people asking for it, I might actually just release a cinematic pack. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but could help you out. Um, anyways, I guess I don't really have much more to say on making cinematics, so I'll go ahead and cut this commentary off. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.